Okay. Back here at home, we're dealing with these dangerous hot temperatures as tornado cleanup continues all across parts of northwest Arkansas nearly a month after that severe weather outbreak. New at 5, 5 News reporter Jose Carranza shares the stories of people who are working hard in this heat, picking up the pieces of their homes. For probably 15 minutes, it's like a freight train coming through, explosions outside, things were booming. It was it was really scary. Finally, after 15, 16 tries, I got a hold of mom and I go, Mom, is everything okay? She goes, No. And then the phone cut out. Almost a month from the tornado, memories of that night are as fresh as the damage still across Benton County. The process has been, my goodness, it's a process. Mm -hmm. It's a day by day thing. Dre Craig says many of the trees that surrounded his neighborhood and home have been cleared, but not without a lot of work. I hear chainsaws in my sleep. <laughs> it's just every day it's been hearing chainsaws, seeing it, seeing giant trucks come through. With the tornadoes hitting in late May, summer 2024 is about recovering, but that's becoming more difficult with temperatures hitting dangerous highs. This heat, it's definitely slowed things down. One bottle of Gatorade and two bottles of water. You got to keep those electrolytes up. Joseph Kennedy has been working on cleaning his parents' home. Thanks to his experience working on wind turbines, he feels ready for the summer work, though he knows it's a different story for the elderly, including his parents. It wouldn't last maybe two hours a day, probably. Everybody's been juggling everything, and we've been slowly progressing, you know, on the cleanup. One thing both families are certain yeah, of, our, our that a community in Huey yeah. is there for each other. It's just amazing how we've all come together. And, you know, we just started at one house and worked our way. You know, I mean, if the neighbor come over, hey, can you help me do this? You just jump and do it. Us, we've been through such a traumatic experience. It's great to see us all come together and bond and push through together. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.